This video capture is a two-dimensional rendering of an experience that is truly 3D. The goal of this module is to allow students to practice an inferior alveolar nerve block. I will be narrating each step of this virtual exercise. After the student completes each step, I will pause my narration until the student begins the next one. We are in an actual physical room, which is our VR lab at Baruch and students wear a headset and hold controllers, one in each hand. In this environment, students see an exact replica of an operatory from the oral surgery clinic at the college. And all of these 3D assets were built from scratch. They're owned by NYU, and they can be modified and reused in other modalities. The scene may look a little eerie with a disembodied female head, but we are focusing on the head and neck anatomy. The absence of the body really doesn't matter. And honestly, I don't even notice it after a while. The students use hand controllers to properly position the patient in the semi-supine position, and they will hear a chime when they do a task correctly. The patient is turned and oriented toward the student. When something is done incorrectly, they also hear a sound, and they receive a vibration sensation in the handpiece for double feedback. The hands you see represent the student's hands. The module includes detailed layers of anatomy. Students can control the layering themselves with the hand controllers. The video is muted today, so you don't hear the sounds that the students receive for feedback. Some anatomical structures can be labeled in this module, but for a more thorough review of head and neck anatomy, we will use a commercial 3D anatomy atlas. The students are expected to deliver an inferior alveolar nerve block, and you can see the richness of the structures that are outlined in great detail. You just saw a view of the armamentarium as we apply topical anesthesia first. In this demo, the student is guided by written instructions that appear on the notification board for each step. And you'll see how topical, with the student's hands, needs to be applied to the planned injection site. There's also a clock in the lower left-hand corner that's to show how long the topical should be applied for. Here, it's sped up not to waste time. As the student approaches the patient, the mouth opens. The next step is to deliver the injection after confirmation of the anatomical structures. The syringe in this module is pre-assembled, so we can focus on the injection. We have built a separate module for the assembly and disassembly of the syringe. The cap is removed and the apparatus is checked for flow against a dark background. The bevel of the needle was highlighted in red. Students will be able to use a retractor or a tongue depressor to keep their hands out of the mouth. And in this demo, they use their non-dominant thumb for palpation and for retraction. And here you can see the student palpating with his non-dominant hand. The X button on the left controller provides students with help if needed. The controllers will be set for handedness and this demo is for a right-handed operator. The steps come up one at a time as each one is completed, and we will have more built-in feedback for incorrect answers. There will be a demonstration mode with a video showing the student what to do before he or she does it. There will be a practice mode with unlimited attempts and help provided. There will also be an assessment mode where the student can work independently and the level of involvement can be adjusted for the learner. You'll see that certain landmarks are highlighted in bright blue and also labeled. You saw the internal oblique ridge, external oblique ridge, and the coronoid notch. Students may be asked to repeat steps multiple times to confirm correct position. And the transparency gives them a very unique view of what's happening in three dimensions. Before moving further, the student is reconfirming his or her instructions. 
and making sure that the angulation and position of the needle is correct. The X button on the controller brings up a square. This is a magnifying glass to zoom in on the bevel of the needle and the planned injection site. The bevel is highlighted in red and you can see the detail of where it is in three dimensions in proximity to nearby vital structures. Students receive feedback when the needle contacts the ramus. The module also walks through the technique of aspiration and shows what happens when an aspiration is negative and will demonstrate here when it's positive. Following the instructions and using the visual feedback, the student can identify where his syringe and needle are located. Here, the student will intentionally try to harpoon a vessel. You see a warning that the aspiration is positive and the carpule is now red. When this happens, the student is warned about the error and is asked to repeat the procedure with a new needle and a new carpule. The student tries again and aspirates. This aspiration is negative. Once again, using the magnifying glass to confirm location, the student is able to successfully deposit anesthetic solution in the correct anatomical location. The core technique for this injection is followed and the student is walked through the steps for the delivery of an inferior alveolar nerve block. Just like in real life, we emphasize recapping safely with a one-handed scoop technique. To simulate the time it takes for the local anesthetic to act, the clock advances quickly for the purposes of this video. At the end of the injection, the user adjusts the transparency back to normal to show the skin. And after confirming anesthesia has been achieved, the module is completed.